Hey folks, Steve Pixelface here. In this video, I am going to go over the essential Godot keyboard shortcuts that will speed up your game dev workflow. As programmers, we spend a lot of time in front of our favorite editors, and in order to make this an efficient and enjoyable experience, it's essential that you know the most important keyboard shortcuts in order to save the most amount of time while navigating around your editor and editing your code. We will go over shortcuts in the general editor, scene tree and script editor. Then at the end of the video, I will briefly show you how to edit shortcuts. These will work on both versions 3.5 and 4 of Godot at the time of this video. I will be demoing the shortcuts on Windows with the Mac equivalent on screen. And you can find all the shortcuts in this video listed as a cheat sheet in the description below. Starting in the general editor, we have four workspaces. So 2D, 3D, script and the asset library. And we can navigate to them by using Ctrl and F1 to F4. So for me, I mainly work in 2D, so I've been using Ctrl F1 for the 2D workspace and Ctrl F3 for the script editor workspace. Using these shortcuts, I can navigate the workspaces quickly. I have three tabs open, Game, UI and Player. The same as how you would cycle tabs on a browser, I can press Ctrl Tab to move to the next tab. If I want to navigate to the previous tab, I can just press Ctrl Shift and Tab. Just another way to quickly navigate around the Godot editor. In the top right of the editor, we have various playtest buttons that can be interacted with. If I want to run my project, rather than clicking the play button, I can just press F5. If I want to stop running my scene, I can press F8. If I want to run the scene that I'm currently working on, I can press F6. So in my case, my UI scene will run as that's the one that's currently opened. I can pause the scene with F7, but note that the editor needs to be in focus for this to work. So I usually don't use this shortcut myself. So that is F5 to play the project, F6 to play the current scene, F7 to pause when the editor is in focus, and F8 to stop the scene that is playing. Quick ways to get your project and scenes running. Moving on to some shortcuts that will help you interact with the scene tree more efficiently. Using Ctrl and A, we can add a new node to the currently selected one. If we use Ctrl and D, we can duplicate a selected node. This will also duplicate the selected node's children if they have any. We can also move a selected node up and down the scene tree by using Ctrl up or down. Let's make our way over to the script editor. First up, some shortcuts that will help clear some space so you can focus on coding. We have the scripts panel to the left. If we don't care about seeing this, we can clear some room by toggling the panel with control and backslash. When we want to focus purely on the script, we can use control shift F11 to enter distraction free mode. Distraction free mode can also be used in other workspaces. The last shortcuts that we'll be going over will help you code and refactor more quickly. The majority of them are shared across different script and text editors. So if you move to another editor like VS Code or even Microsoft Word, you'll be able to use most of these too. We can move the cursor to the beginning of the previous and next word with control and left or right. If we want to select the previous and next words, we can do that with control, shift, left or right. If we want to delete the previous word from our cursor, this can be done with control and backspace. To move to the start and end of a line, we can do this with the home and end keys. If we want to move a line of code up or down, we can do this with alt and up or down. We can tab our code, obviously with tab, but if we want to tab backwards, we can do that with shift and tab. To delete the entire line of code, we can do this with control, shift and K. This is more of a Godot specific shortcut. You can toggle code comments with control and K. You can do this for single or multiple lines.
Let's say I want to replace all instances of the variable max players with something else. I can highlight my variable, press Ctrl and OR, type my new variable name and click replace all. Now all instances of the variable have been updated. Let's briefly touch on how we can edit shortcuts in Godot. We go to Editor, Editor Settings and Shortcuts. You find all the shortcuts available to you that you can edit. So if you're used to using different editor shortcuts or maybe your operating system, keyboard layout to prevent certain shortcuts, you can change them here. Hopefully you found that beneficial and picked up some new shortcuts to add to your workflow. If you don't already use shortcuts while coding, I recommend that when you perform an action that you know could be done with the shortcut, force yourself to roll back that action and redo it with the shortcut. Before long, it will all become second nature and your workflow speed will increase. If there are any shortcuts that I missed that you use in Godot, please post a comment and share with everybody. That's it from me. Have a fabulous day.